I want to share a bit of a personal story with you and then reveal something that I've discovered that could change your life just like that. Have you ever sat back and watched what a few other people may be doing, the, the extreme success they're enjoying, and at just about the same time feel that maybe success was just slipping through your fingers? If you feel that your success has been slipping through your fingers in your relationships with loved ones, maybe your own children, maybe your business associates, or if you feel success has been slipping through your fingers insofar as your business with your income, if you feel success of any kind has been slipping through your fingers in an area maybe in sports or some area that I have not mentioned, I want you to go immediately. Don't put it off. Don't think you have something else to do. Do it right now. Sit down and take a pen and a pad and focus on that area that you want to change. And I guarantee you, if you can isolate what you want, I can show you how to get it. It's so easy to read in the paper, you see on TV, well, it could be a personality, but it might be a relative or a person down the street or maybe somebody you went to school with that you really didn't think was that bright, but they're enjoying tremendous success. And you just seem to be getting the same results all the time. Well, I discovered something. It took nine years of intense research on my own personal part. But when I discovered it, I thought I had the keys to the kingdom. And all I wanted to do was share it with other people. So I'm going to ask you to open your mind a little and really become super honest with yourself. And I believe if you do, I'm going to show you how to get results that stick. Now, this isn't a game we're playing. This is a life that we're living. Many, many years ago, when I was a very young man, a man that became probably the best friend I'll ever have gave me this book. Now, this particular copy I've been reading for the past 52 years. It's Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. Now, it's fairly obvious. I've been reading this book for a long time. Pages are falling out of it. The covers come off it. But I stick with it, and I keep reading it. Now, it's not that I'm such a slow reader. It's just there's so much in this book. And I have found that regardless of what level of success I may enjoy, I can always find how to raise the bar through studying some of Napoleon Hill's material. Now, let me go back to the time I was a little kid. And this is the part I think probably that you'll be able to relate to. I did things I didn't want to do, and yet I was doing them anyway. And I'd get caught, and the teacher would say, why did you do that? I'd say, well, I don't know. Well, what do you mean you don't know? You know better. I know. Why'd you do it? I don't know. And to be quite honest with you, I don't know, or I didn't. And I go home, and my mother goes through the same deal when I did something. Why did you do that? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You know better. I know. Well, why'd you do it? I don't know. I remember I was in the Navy, and commanding officers say, Proctor, yes, sir. Why did you do that? I don't know, sir. You know better than that. I know. Why'd you do it? I don't know. You see, all over the world, there's people doing things they don't want to do. It's giving them results they don't want to get, and they do it anyway. Why does that happen? Why is it that an individual will graduate from a prestigious university with a very beautiful degree and yet not capitalize on it? You see people every day who are absolutely brilliant. You know some. You're related to some. They've got degrees coming right off the end of their business card, and they're not making it. They may be broke. If they're in business, the business is stuck. Why does that happen? Well, I found out because of what happened to me reading this book. You see, when I started to read this, everything in my life started to change. Now, I was given a directive by the man that gave me the book. 
Raymond Douglas Stanford, and he said, Bob, if you do exactly what I tell you, until you find out I'm lying or I don't know what I'm talking about, he said, you'll get results that shock you. Now, I've got to tell you, up to that point, I had been going down many roads, and they were all wrong roads. I was 26 years old. I had never held a half-decent job. I was earning $4,000 a year, and I owed $6,000. I, um, I just wasn't making it. I was stuck, and it had always been that way, and I didn't know how to change it. I wanted to, and I didn't know how. And he said, do exactly what I tell you. Well, you know, from the time I picked this up to one year later, my income changed and my life changed like night and day. Now, do you know, it's almost like daytime becoming night. You don't really notice it happening. You just notice, my goodness, it's dark out already. Well, that's the way my life changed. And I went from earning $4,000 a year, which was the most I had ever earned up to that point, and I took it up to $175,000 a year. Now, you may be wondering, what was I doing? Because I'm going way back to 1961. I found out that it really doesn't matter what you're doing. Well, it does, but for the most part, it doesn't. What matters is how you're doing it. You see, when I read that book, I set a goal. I wanted to have $25,000. I gave myself a decade to do it. I really didn't believe it would happen. And I started cleaning floors on the side after my normal job, just to make a couple extra dollars. I ended up cleaning floors in Toronto, Montreal, Boston, Cleveland, Atlanta, London, England. My income shot up to over $5 million, And I didn't know what I was doing. I had to figure it out. And I sat down and I started to think, what happened? I had been raised to believe much the same as you've been raised to believe. If you're going to earn a lot of money, you've got to be really smart. But you know something? I knew I wasn't very smart. And I'm not putting myself down. I just knew I wasn't very smart. But I was earning a lot of money. Now, I'd also been raised to believe if you're going to have a good job or get a good position, you've got to have a good formal education, go to school to get a degree. I didn't go to school. I got kicked out of school after two months in high school. Now, I was happy about it, but so were they. See, I was really a misguided kid. I didn't have any formal education. I didn't have a good position. I owned the company. Now, you've got to admit, that would cause any thinking person to be a little confused. And I couldn't figure out what happened, but I wanted to know. I wasn't satisfied just with the fact that I was winning. I wanted to know why I was winning. 